this price is pretty close right now. You see this? So the second ideal scenario for the price bottom formations are my all crypto assets currently investment in. Then these are my total investment return for each crypto assets. Okay? Then if you want to interest in much more detailed portfolio allocations and also my real-time saving buy action for every single crypto assets including IDO, ICO, DeFi, please think about the join my premium membership program, real-time buy and sell signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. Okay, so for more detail, please check out my other video. And here's my video link. Okay, then let's start for a Bitcoin market analysis. So here's BTC USDT4 chart. Overall, entire market trend last week is bearish trend. Then we mainly had two news, which has a pretty big impact on the market price move here. And the first one is this one November 16th, Bank Arc Bitcoin strategy ETF launch. They believe a fraction of BITOS. Frankly, the BITO, Pro Shares of Bitcoin Futures ETF, is the biggest one. And the Bar Ike ETF stuff, that number is pretty much smaller than you know, Pro Shares Bitcoin ETF. That is why, with this news, we're going to experience this price crash here. Lower price breakout with this Boring Japan trend line here. Okay? Still, the bearish trends continued here. And then November 19th, Square has published the white paper for its decks. This is a square dex is focused on fiat money pair. That is why a lot of retail investors expect much more capital injections through the scale dex system. So we're gonna experience this, this bridge trend here. Okay? Then currently bridge of is still in a converging trend. Then now it's testing lower price line on this bridge band here. Okay? Then additional analysis item, as usual, I'm gonna also check out the you know, VTC futures publisher funding rate. Then once we're gonna check out the price move last week. You know, the, before the price flash, interest rates of this perpetual fund is actually going up. That is why we're going to experience this flash. After this, we're going to experience it pretty in the lower stars here. Then we're going to hit the small run here. But after once the perpetual fund light a little bit go up, price crash down again. So thinking about you know current price move, I do think perpetual funding right here should be goes to negative level, minus level. Otherwise, I don't think you know. Every single of these small increase action by exchange all the time causes price flash because current market trend is quite bearish. That's why. Okay. Then next one, BTC USDT daily chart. Thinking about price bottom formations, I'm seriously paying attention to this blue line here. Okay. Then this is the key price, November 19th, 55k 600. One of our first expectations for the price bottom formations. Is this blue line here along with this key price? If the BTC price can maintain higher than this price here, they can form here is a double bottom formation here. Here, okay? That's why this key price is pretty important. And then this price line itself, it's also coming from here as a support line. Almost right before the Bitcoin move into this you know, all time high blue line here. You see this? Once we can look at the trade bottom here. This is also relatively louder than other price point line here and here. So, which means that, you know, bridge side and also bearish side is competing with each other. Then finally, bridge player is won this game. So, this is going to be a key support line for us. So, this is my first target for the bottom price formation for Bitcoin. Then for the backup plan, I also continue to pay attention to weekly chart price move. So, first of all, I stopped counting these kind of number of the weeks of the blue run. Because I realized again, before the Bitcoin experiences these questions, I don't think the blue run is standing again. So we are seeing a question moment here. So I stopped counting, you know, these sort of blue run here. Okay, that's the first things I want you to understand here. The second things, I'm gonna pay attention to this one, Bollinger Band. 
Currently, the price train line is MA18, 52K671. I also, as a plan B, pay attention to this price line here, 52K620. This price is pretty close right now. You see this? So the second ideal scenario for the price bottom formations, this MA18 price hitting higher than this trend line here, 52K920, this price line here, then Correct BTC price, testing this MA18. Then they're gonna form the bottom. That's my ideal scenario as a plan B. That's what I'm thinking about. So currently still, it's testing MA10, as you can see here. I also truly really hope that BTC price can maintain higher than this MA10 as a trend line here. But all the time we're gonna experience this, you know, short term stone price clash. It's occasionally happened here, as you can see. So from that perspective, as a plan B, I'm talking about this price line here. Okay, that's what I'm thinking about. Then once we're gonna look at the KDJ here, lower price breakout. RSI also hitting lower than slash fall line here. So other key moments that we need to pay attention to, I'm gonna expect KDJ and RSI maintain slower bleach trend here. RSI and KDJ. That's my other expectations. If we can maintain this slower bullish trend here, still we can maintain, you know, entire bridge line on a Bitcoin market here. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay? Then that's one, monthly chart. It's kind of critical moment because look at here. You know, it's a one month chart. And we have one more week more to close the November price move here. Right? Then key point is, you know, KDJ, have to experience this kind of bridge breakout here, but still it's struggling. RSI, then things. I'm gonna expect this bridge breakout here, but it's struggling here. Again, we have one more week. So let's closely pay attention to you know, this week price move. That also have a critical influence. Next month's price move here on the December. Okay? Then as this then at this moment, I'm still gonna hold this in prediction here. So Bitcoin will hit 100k within 2021. Then from here is a review item, Bitcoin third halving around 2021. So Bitcoin experiences two halving moments in the past. First halving moments, second halving moments. And in the first halving moments, it's kind of starting from November 28th in 2012, okay? Then almost exactly one year later, Bitcoin up there here, it's pretty big, it's pretty big jump here. Then deviation ratio based on the stock to pool price at that moment was plus 969%, huge jump here. The timing was December 4th, 2013. Then second halving moments. It's kind of starting from July 7th in 2016. Then almost exactly 1.5 years later, December 17th, 2017, Bitcoin price experiences another bridge brand here. Then they got up their all-time high. Deviation ratio at that moment was plus 351% based on the stock to pool price. It's an amazing jump too. Then now we are in a third halving moment. It's kind of starting from May 11th in 2020. Then we are here. So the current play, I'm going to simulate about deviation ratio plus 127%. Okay? Then the key point is when? Timing staff. Then I'm going to suppose four major scenario for the timing staff. So number one, number two, number three, and then number four. Okay? Then about number one, January 2022, did it order number one? The stock to pull price had a 10K. And plus deviation ratio, 250k. The second scenario, August in 2022. So delay model number two. Delay means delay more than 1.5 years later in the second half of the moment. Okay? Then in this case, it's gonna follow up US stock summer rally in the summer season in 2022. Then stock to pole price is 110k and plus deviation ratio, 250k. Okay? The third one, December, delay model number three. Stock to pole price, 110k and plus deviation ratio, 250K. The fourth scenario, August 2023. So, the end number four, for up US stock summary in 2023. The stock to pole price is 110K, and plus deviation ratio, 250K. Then currently, I'm gonna suppose, between number one and number two will be the ideal scenario. The reason is, the first key things, I want you to understand here that the current crypto market is led by US market. Then to achieve this in the number stuff here, as a minimum requirement, what we need is US stock salary plus 
US SEC approval for BTC spot ETF. So these are two minimum requirements. That's why then think about the current you know, market momentum in US stock, also the you know, US SEC BTC ETF approval, I think between number one and the number two will be the ideal scenario. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay? Then from here is the fundamental stats analysis. Most of the data from grass notes. The first one is Bitcoin stock to fall ratio. So the stock to fall price is 107k830 in November 21st. And the actual price was 59k299. So the price gap is minus 45%. Last week was minus 40%. So stats get worse. Okay? The second one, BTC actual hours. Compare with the last week, plus 2.7%. Stats is 857k699. So it's kind of steady growth. Then BTC transaction fee. 7 day change plus 6.3%, $3.05. Along with that, you know, Bitcoin active address number, this increased ratio itself, it's also close, so not big surprise. Then that's what, BTC NUPR. So once the stats hitting higher than 0.75 here means market is too hot. This zone here, it's blue line here, okay? Then currently it's still in a green line here. The stats is 0.593. Last week was 0.625. Stats also get worse. Okay. Next one, the old market cap and the BTC dominant slides. Market cap minus 6.7%. Middle decrease. The BTC dominant slides 42.3%. Minus 0.9%. So even we are in a very strength on the market cap, BTC dominant slides also going down means currently no price clash led by Bitcoin. Upcoin is bullish compared with Bitcoin. So, is BTC pair, as you can see here, it's bull. So I'm still keeping this position here, bridge breakout here. That's what I'm thinking about, okay? Then also we're gonna look at the KDJ here, still maintaining this, you know, wide ranging price move here. So still remain bridge about this trend here, okay? Then as well, WBTC market means it's bronze. Then last week move here, look at here, a lot of you know, foreign investors are still minting new WBTC contract. It's good. It's a good signal. Then that's what Google search trend. BTC minus 130, gold minus 456, Ethereum no change 4, NFT no change 11, Metaverse no change 3. Okay? Still in this market, next to the Bitcoin, NFT is leading the market momentum right now. Okay? Then that's what gold USDT weekly chart. Still it's struggling and uh, this you know, blue line line here. So please pay attention to this plant line here, 1916. Once the gold price hitting higher than these stats here, they are going to another bull run. It's a long-term bridge breakout. That's the key things we need to pay attention to, right? Then, you know, this bull run itself is led by, you know, inflation risk because of COVID-19, okay? Then that's what, wild risk asset market cap ranking. Bitcoin, one line down next to Tesla, top sevens. Then this one, world richest person ranking, November 21st. Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin creator, 1 million BTC holder, 59 billion, top 24th, 4 ramp down. Then this one, world GP ranking, entire metaverse economy next to Germany, 2.78 trillion. Number 5, no change. Then this one, US 10 year treasury notes, November 50th, 1.551%. 7 day change, minus 0.015%. Still, struggling here against EMA 20, against EMA 200 here. So we need to close pay attention to continuously, okay? Then this one, US inflation rate. It's a monthly update. So no change from the compared with last week, 6.22%. September was 5.39%. So after the corona shock here, still increasing inflation risk, okay? Then next one, SRP 500 index, five day chart. Almost no big change. You see this here? Even this you know, initial reverse claim, no big change. Then NASDAQ, compared to SRP, it's actually bridge. Against this you know, initial reverse claim, fast reactions, also much more bridge. Okay? Then that's what, this week, US economy events, as usual. November 24th, initial reverse claim. Compared to last week, no big change here. Okay? Then from here is key news updates. The first one is COVID-19, as usual. So the total infection number is plus 1.7%. Last week was these stats was 1.35%, so it gets worse. About this threshold, 1.0%. Same as last week. Overall stats is getting worse. Okay? 
Okay. Thank you, Lisa. This Square has published a white paper for its DEX. Then here's a quotation from the article. Key takeaways: Square has published a white paper that outlines its plans for decentralized exchange called TV DEX. Unlike most exchange, TV DEX will provide fiat to crypto conversion will not be entirely anonymous. Instead, it aims to provide a decentralized network to any point with the negotiable ID requirements for user. Simply say, I have a certain level expectation expectations here, but from the technical perspective, I'm pretty curious about you know, how they're going to achieve non-custodian style DEX model with this fiat and cryptocurrency pair, because it requires special technical architecture model here to achieve this goal. But once they're going to achieve this goal, it's actually great innovations for Square. Then, you know, with these you know, new innovations, of course, we can expect a lot of money flow into fiat currency market to the cryptocurrency market. So still, I have a certain level of expectation for this project. It's great, okay? All right, so this is the last slide. Hodo is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because the investment in crypto assets, just like the investment in early days of Google and Facebook, then once we can look at the legendary angel investor transactions such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Wilhelm Hammond, all the time they're gonna take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. And here's another evidence from the Binance research. This is a Bitcoin case, but the longest holder of the Bitcoin must mind their investment return is plus 220%, much larger than other short-term holder here. So I'm gonna also basically take the long-term investment approach. So I'm gonna also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay? All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video practically help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of this video on crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.